We'll learn, okay. So, a couple things. Yeah, let's say we're here and then somehow miraculously Phil got me in a, in a side control, okay? There's a couple of different ways to control, but you have to look. R right now I feel that he's really wanting to control my head and he's going to want to control, he, he ideally wants to control the rotation of my head with his shoulder, which is going to prevent me from rotating to the right and he keeps pressure that way, so it's hard for me to turn my hips, okay? The other thing I have to keep in mind is, is that his hands, I, I can feel, because I, I know what this feels like, is he has the underhook, I don't have the underhook. I really want the underhook, but he's got the underhook, because there was probably a, a battle for the underhook for chest control, he's got chest to chest, and this arm is cut out, I can't reinsert it back into the hip, okay? A couple of things you gotta keep in mind. I don't want to do this. This is very good for him, very bad for me. I want to be able to control at least his arms, okay? How I do this is I begin to bring my elbow down and I'm controlling at least this arm so he can't just pull it right out, okay? He'll have to struggle to pull it out. But as he pulls it out, I can create space. But he's not going to just pull it out because he wants to use it to control me. So I need to at least be heavy on his inner elbow pit here, okay? The other thing is, is that my head can control this arm, okay? Not by pushing my head down, but by tucking my chin and elevating my hip and walking my shoulders back into his arm. So here, I'm already kind of controlling his arm here. And I see because of his hands right here, it's not very comfortable. But he can't really pull the right hand out, okay? He can't effectively pull the left hand out, okay? So now, the question is, what do I do? I would prefer to put this arm back inside, okay, by his hip. And I'll do it from another angle. I'm going to walk my hip to the right, okay, as my head moves to the left, and I frame it. I keep framing it out as I keep moving hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, okay? And you, you do consecutive movements so that they are all done in sequence, okay? Look, I can't bring this in here, okay? The, yes, and, and his knees are wide. He thinks he's controlling the hip. Okay, because here, his right knee is at my hip, his left knee is in my armpit, so I can't kind of get in here. So I have to frame here. So as I tuck my chin and lift my shoulders, I'm kind of walking back and I'm shrugging and I'm like doing this whole foam listening thing here. Okay, I have a couple options here. For me to reinsert this, I walk my hip to the right and move my head left as I begin to walk my hips, hips, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder and you get your butterfly hooks in, okay? If you notice the movement once it starts, it doesn't stop, because it's hard to continue to restart after you stop. So once you start moving, you're consecutively moving, moving, moving. The motion, the hip shoulder motion, is this here, go over here, this, is this, okay? I'm gonna move my hip, shoulder, feet, hip, shoulder, feet, hip, shoulder, and I'm creating space. Whenever I create space, I want to take up the space, okay? If I create space and he takes up space, I'm back where I start, okay? I create space, I take the space, and I take the space with the knee. So that as we're here, okay, my left, arms, our left arm retracts his elbow. I can get this one in here, okay? My roll up on my shoulders, because you see how the base of my neck is flat. If I'm like this, there's that contour. You can easily pull that arm out. But when I tuck my chin and roll up on my shoulders, I'm literally, yeah, it's not comfortable to be on his arm right there, okay? So for me to bring this in, I walk my hip to the right, move my hip left, and then I hear hip, shoulder, and the knees and elbow connects. And now I'm in my triangular sphere, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hooks, 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 sit up, and you recompose the guard until you have four points of contact. You have to have four points of contact to have an open guard. If your open guard doesn't consist of four points of contact, you don't have an open guard, they probably have a guard pass. If you're passing guard and you feel they have their feet connected to you and, and, and hands, you need to remove one point of contact. If you remove one point of contact, that's enough for you to be able to advance until they reposition that fourth point of contact to the wall. Okay, so all you're gonna do here is, and notice my head is off the mat. So here, I can't get my arm in. The first thing we're gonna do, I need to get this elbow in. I'm gonna put my toes on the mat, and I'm gonna start tucking my chin and walking this way. Walk my hip to the right, my head to the left, hip right, right on frames, okay? 
with my whatever this part is, elbow, I don't know, forearm, whatever. And, here, and I turn as my right knee goes in, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. And I like to sit up just so that you now have four points of contact. I have my hands and I have my feet in a butterfly position. Does that make sense? So you're all going to wind up in this butterfly type of a position. Because from here, I can go one point, two point, and then begin to sweep them over. But you got to get here first. Right. He's got the underhook. Okay. I need the number one. Left hand retract, the right hand can. But I keep it right by his hip. My feet here, tuck my chin, walk to the right, as the hip goes, the head goes to the left, frame here, walk my feet out, and my right knee, hip, shoulder, butterfly hooks, come under, here, and then I can begin to sweep. So <coughs> here. I want to retract. I can't retract the right hand. I can retract the left hand. Tuck my chin, and I come up, 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 up. My hips walk to the right. Head goes to the left. Couple movements here. Frame, and now I start walking hip away, and my right knee goes to the right elbow. As I scoot my hip away, hip shoulder, and I sit up. I can go here. And now both hands on the belt. The most important thing is that there's no more side. Okay, any questions? Let's do it, one, two, three. You're gonna retract the left hand, tuck your chin, lift your hips. And then you need to retract your right elbow. Let's go, let's go. Go ahead, you take? Yeah. Grab something the higher or lower, higher or lower.